Good day everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you or we enact what are the important things to do before, during, and after El Nino. But before that, let us know first what is El Nino. El Nino is a significant increase in ocean temperature over the eastern and central Pacific Ocean. It occurs at a regular interval ranging from 2 to 7 years, usually developing in the early months of the year and a decade of the following year. Here in the Philippines, El Nino conditions are often characterized by dry and warm hot events. First thing to do before El Nino is to listen and monitor Pagasa, El Nino drought, dry spell forecast on which part of the country will be affected of severe conditions. Second is to plan your daily activity to avoid strenuous work during the hottest time of the day. Lastly, learn the symptoms of heat stress or exposure to extreme environmental heat, sunburn, heat exhaustion, uh, heat stroke, dehydration, or any related condition caused by a, a very hot climate. Discuss it with the local physician or medical personnel. Since I want to know what are the symptoms and I cannot see a local physician here, so maybe I want to call her or I can google it so that I have knowledge about it. So I will try to call our physician. Hello? Okay, okay, doc. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for that uh, information. Bye. And also, before the El Nino, we should prepare a lot of drinking water to keep us hydrated. And the foods, canned goods, because I know when the El Nino happen, it will cause a shortage of food and you should prepare the first aid kit if someone is hurt you can use this and the radio operated battery for monitoring and prepare also the emergency hotline also the things that we should consider before the El Nino is to check the pump or the faucet if there is a leak so we can fix it and to save a lot of water now, what to do during the El Nino? First, you have to avoid strenuous work or activity during the hottest time of the day. What are those strenuous activity? Uh, example, jogging, walking, running. Keep dehydrated during drought condition and conserve water. Next thing to do during the El Nino is uh, regularly clean the electric fan or air condition filter. And stay indoor when possible. Next thing to do during El Nino is to wear light colored or lightweight uh, clothing. Just like this, this is a lightweight color. What to do after El Nino? The only thing you should do after El Nino is to seek medical attention if you and other person experience the symptoms of heat stress. Hello, 911. 
911. This is an emergency. That's the end of my video. I hope you learn and uh, thank you for watching.